Hi Aries, thank you for being here with me. Let's look at your tarot cards and see, see what messages show up today for you. Spirits, what does Aries need to know right now at the time they're viewing this reading? Aries. Aries, let's see what's going on. What does Aries need to know, spirits? Okay, the first card you have is the Ten of Pentacles. And then you have the Six of Pentacles. You have a family member here. This person is a giver. This person is very sweet, very kind. We have the Death card, Scorpio energy. Something here is stopping. The next card you have is the Eight of Pentacles. We're going to go back and clarify the cards, you guys. In the center of your reading, you have the Queen of Swords. Something here is stopping about this family member's work. It's coming to an end, like sudden end. The next card you have is the Four of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles, the Hermit Virgo energy, and then you have the Fool. This is your energy, Aries, and you have the Page of Swords and Temperance, Sagittarius energy, Patience, Patience, having Patience. Watching, having patience. You have a family here with the Ten of Pentacles. This is the energy of a family. And then you have the Six of Pentacles here. You have someone here in your family, in this home, that is a giver. You know who it is? It's It could be you. But let's clarify the cards. Let's see what's going on here, Aries. Spirits, what does Aries need to know right now? Look at that. As I split the deck, you have the family. And this time you have the king of wands. I feel like you're the king. All right? It doesn't matter what gender you are. Um, you're the... You, you are the one who... Who fights for everybody. You're the worker. What does Aries need to know right now? Spirits at the time they're viewing this reading. Let me shuffle one more time Aries. You're the one who makes things happen. You're the boss. I feel you now. You're the one in charge. Tell me why the Ten of Pentacles is here. You have the Magician, you have the Sun, and you have the Eight of Wands. You've got a lot coming at you, a lot of energy that you take care of all the time with the Eight of Wands. And you're a Magician. You make it look easy, Aries. The Sun is here, Leo energy. You bring in the Sun um, into this family. You are the Light. Okay, there's something here about your family where you are the light. When you walk into a room, um, it's like you're the sun. You bring the warmth, the love, the happiness. And you are the merchant. You're the one giving here in the center, in the green. Tell me why the Six of Pentacles is here. It's like I just saw the chariot on the bottom of the deck, which is cancer energy. 
you're you're the one who um drives the chariot you're the one who makes things work you have the seven of cups and you have the three of swords you could receive a message here that that is heartbreaking it's painful this could have happened in the recent past but i'm seeing messages coming in the next card you have is death and something something here coming to an end with all of this the way things have been working tell me why death is here The pool, Aries energy, your energy. There's someone here that, that feels regret. There's someone here in a connection with someone with the Two of Cups. And um, there's a third energy here with the Fool. It's almost like if you look at this card, it looks like someone is kind of, there's two people here together. And there's someone here wandering off alone. And this is clarifying death. Something here, it's not completely over. It's hanging on by a thread. Something happened. within this family I feel like I'm seeing you just distracted by something else and all of a sudden I start getting this beeping sound so um, there's a distraction right there. Something else is distracting you. You could be at work when you receive a message. Tell me why the Eight of Pentacles is here. You have the Eight of Swords. This message, while well, you're at work, it leaves you worried. You have the Ace of Wands and the Four of Cups. See, there's a messenger there. It's like you're worried, but um, it's not, it's, um, let me think of how to put this in the right words. It, the, it's not something that you're really taking notice to. You're not really paying attention to it all the way, but there's this worry in your mind. The next card you have is the Queen of Swords. But then you start thinking, why is the Queen of Swords here? The Five of Swords. The Hierophant Taurus energy. And you have the Queen of Wands. The Chariot. Let's go. Let's go. The Chariot keeps showing up. Let's go. Let's go. This will be fun. Let's go.
there's someone within within the family within the home that looks at you as the authority figure they see you as the authority figure and um i see you like deciding to walk away from an argument or something here something is being told to you um through a message this will be fun i'm going to do this i'm going to do something i'm going to go let's go let's go and you're kind of like this isn't worth arguing about it's like your mind is busy I feel like this worries you, but your mind is busy on something else. It's it's like you're at work. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Let's go, let's go. It's like you're holding back. You're not saying anything. You're like, okay, go ahead. Go ahead. I don't want to argue with you. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Death. Scorpio energy. You're holding back. You're not saying anything. And then it happens. Okay, the death card again. Death. Death. The fool Aries energy. Um... Why is death here? You have the page of wands. Pages are younger energies. I see a child here. The four of wands. And the ace of cups. Some type of great celebration. Some, something that should be a great celebration. Some type of an offer here that is offered from love. It comes from the heart space. It comes from love. This messenger sending the message. Let's go. Let's go. And you hold back. You don't say anything. Leo energy. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? The Devil Capricorn energy. The Lovers Gemini energy. And the Ten of Swords in Reverse. The New is here because, see the New here? The Ace, the Ace of Pentacles. The New is here because something has ended. Alright, something is ending. Ten of Swords in Reverse. This is an ending. Right side up, upside down, doesn't matter. Something here has ended. That's why the Ace of Pentacles is here. It hurts. The Devil and the Lovers. There's two people here together. Alright, and these two people together are obsessed with each other. There's an obsession here. The devil is Capricorn energy. There's two people making some type of choice. And um, someone gets hurt. Tell me why the hermit is here. This is supposed to be a celebration. Let's go, let's go. There could be three people here. Tell me why the hermit is here. You have the Seven of Swords.
The Knight of Cups. And the Nine of Wands. Who is this? Whatever this leads to, it leads you to an energy here where you're questioning yourself. Somebody here, they're taking actions of love. All right, I see them taking actions of love. But the Seven of Swords is here like as if they're not telling everything. They're not showing everything. And this person, um, there's little to no communication between you and this person. You may feel like I'm tired, I'm exhausted. But you may not be saying anything, but you're tired, you're exhausted here. And then... You're taking action, you're taking some type of action with love, but yet you're questioning this. Or keeping something to yourself. This feeling of being exhausted and tired, it's going to be released from you, Aries. The last card you have is the Fool. Tell me why the first, see, a completion, an ending of a chapter in your book, a, a special chapter, a special memory. Like we just, we just wrote a chapter I feel like a special event has happened here some type of significant event that's the word I want to use significant event why is the fool here because there is a closing of this chapter and there is healing there is no death this is Sagittarius energy there is no death there is, there is healing. Yay, I made it. Throwing your hands up in the air, feeling freedom. You know, a lot of worry here. Having patience, patiently watching with love. There's love here for this family member. Tell me why the Page of Swords is here. The Wheel of Fortune and the Page of Cups. Your wish will be granted in time. All right, you have good news coming in time. Whatever answers you're looking for, whatever you search for in this healing um, of this card of death, of something something ending you have good news you will find out good news healing wish fulfillment tell me why temperance is here and the ten of cups the happy home the happy family the next chapter begins with the ace of pentacles Something here happens within this family. We start off with the family. We end with the family.
the family, the family, some type of situation happens here, it hurts, it causes you pain, it causes you to have to stop and pause from the energy of being this giving person of what you're giving because of some type of heartbreak, some type of message being received could have happened here in the recent past. But you end with a card of healing and good news and the Ten of Cups coming, coming at the end of this reading and a new beginning here and beginning to plant more seeds to grow on the tree. The, this is a family that has roots in the ground. Aries, let's get a card of affirmation for you guys for today. Whenever you're viewing this reading, you have Fox Power Medicine. Life is filled with love, and I find it wherever I go. I radiate love, and everything reflects back, reflects love back to me. I believe in myself. I move forward with confidence that the best is yet to come. Devotion. You're very devoted to this family, to these people that you love, and you are the, it's like, um, you radiate love, you radiate the sun, you radiate this healing energy, and that love reflects back on you with this devotion that you have. You're very devoted to your family, your home. And it's, the energy is shining through on your tarot cards. I love you guys. Thank you for liking and subscribing. And I'll see you guys later. Namaste.